M-City is a public-private partnership. We are really here to bring industry, research, and government together to work on a lot of the advanced mobility technologies, connected vehicles, automated vehicles, uh, to help bring them to society in a thoughtful and beneficial way. We run a bunch of different living laboratories, including the test facility, but we also are supporting research in a lot of these areas. We've funded about $27 million over the last four years in engineering, social sciences, law, all kinds of disciplines that touch these new technologies. We do all sorts of research projects. We've got some funded projects on motion sickness. Will the seating configurations of tomorrow really be a reasonable thing? Or will we need mitigation to keep people from feeling gross while they're reading iPads or whatever is going down the highway? We are also running a project around safety and testing of highly automated vehicles. So how can we guarantee that these systems are safe and ready to go out onto the public roads and mix with real humans? I think in terms of building public trust around the safety and testing of these systems, we need a more open set of testing standards. It'll be a little while before groups like SAE can finalize some standards in this area. So we can help feed into that with the research that we're doing. You can imagine 60 member companies, getting them to agree on technologies and things is pretty much impossible. We're not focused on policy as much as we're focused on informing good policy through data collection, on-road deployments, those sorts of projects. And the member companies are actually here to share data with each other on a lot of these topics. You can imagine safety, for example, is one where no company wants to have sort of the upper hand. I think they all see the rising tide floats all boats. So they want to bring all the companies up together and have everyone be following best practices for testing. Uh, I think everyone benefits.